All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. You know, the theater and the pump and everything else that is going on in this wicked country is amazing. Um, you know, the reason why I can see the decline so crystal clear, which I was able to see years and years and years and years and years ago before we get all this press today, is because I read the scriptures. And uh, humanity is just not too hard to figure out because the things that was, it's happening again. And that's why I often say over and over again that those who don't know history are destined to repeat the same mistakes of the past. And no doubt we are repeating the same mistakes of the past. Um, we have not learned too much of anything uh, that's going on today. I mean, I really truly have uh, on, on the so-called what the world terms as a religious front. You, you're not going to get too many people out here that actually understands the words of Christ because they just simply will not bind together in truth. And each individual, rather than us continually keep looking at everybody else and seeing what they're doing and what they're not doing, each individual will not take responsibility for their own heart, for their own self, and for their own situation. And so the enemy, who is a spiritual being, the adversary, he works inside the minds of people, which I am actually posting up a series that I just did this past Sabbath on the mind. If you really truly want to know the warfare and what's going on with the mind, watch that series all the way through. You will not be disappointed. Now, whether you're going to believe it or not, another story. Irrelevant. I'm a peaceful man. Uh, it makes no difference to me if you don't want to believe what I believe. Um, you know, I understand. Believe you me, I understand. Sometimes it takes uh, a, a serious awakening. But the way that this country and the people is in this country, the level, I mean the level that we have been dumbed down to is, is unprecedented. There's not a scale that can measure the ignorance in how we function today. It really truly isn't. Um, I was in town today, had a discussion with somebody. They were a little bit upset at me. Uh, the reason why they was upset at me because I was talking, you know, they asked me a question. Because no doubt they're looking at my YouTube videos, but they won't admit it. Uh, and, and so they was kind of beating around the bush. And I just said, won't you just come right on out with what you want to say? Well, I don't like how you call Christians pagans. I said, really? I said, I said, now, your feelings have nothing to do with me. It's none of my business. That's between you and the most high. But let's just deal with truth. Do you read the Bible? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I read the Bible. Mm -hmm. I say, is that Bible, is that Bible, um, is that is that Bible written by Hebrews or is it written by Romans? Well, well, well I know you ain't going on that. I know you ain't going on that. No, I'll just answer the question. Is it written by Hebrews or is it written by Romans? Well, it's written by Hebrews. Oh, you got a little bit of knowledge then, huh? Huh. Well, well, did Moses, any of the prophets, did uh, Christ, uh, did any of the apostles give us any instructions anywhere to celebrate this holiday called Christmas? Have you looked it up? Well, I know what Christmas is all about and stuff, but, but, but I know what I do it for. Oh, so now you're defining the most high. You're defining the way under your own terms. In other words, uh, it's a tradition of man that is not spoken of in the book. But when you look at the roots of it, it comes from paganism. And paganism is satanic because it's the worship of other gods, which Israelites and uh, are charged to not worship. Now, I understand. I told him, I said, he got even more upset. I said, you're a Christian, right? He said, yes, I'm a Christian. I said... Man, why are you getting all upset because I'm telling you that you are a Christian? You even admit yourself a Christian. And if you want to celebrate pagan, satanic holidays, that's none of my business. That's between you. But, but don't set up and tell me that you're righteous and that the Bible approves of your behavior because it doesn't. <laughs> and then, then he, 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 he uh, got on me uh, because I said, come on, man. Did you keep the commandments this weekend? Yeah, I went to church. What, 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 what day did you go to church on? It don't make no difference. I, I, I got my own Sabbath. I said, yeah, you do. You have your own Sabbath. You got that right. But it's not the Sabbath of the Most High. Yeah. And I, look, I looked at him. I said, I tell you what. My bank is sitting right over there. If you in this town, Lafayette, Tennessee, if you in this town, you can get together five 10, 15, 20, 30, 40. You can get together all the preachers, all the deacons, all the elders. Put them on one side and put me on the other side by myself. And let's have this thing out. 
in the open for everybody to see. I mean, after all, y'all do carry the King James Version of the Bible, right? Huh? I mean, the people, as long as they don't hear the truth, and they keep hearing these fairy tale lies that you people keep perpetuating, they're not going to, because they're not reading, they're not studying, they're not inspired to even do any of that. They just trust and believe, it's good enough for mom and dad, good enough for me. You don't know if it was good enough for them. I said, let's stop playing games. I, I for, for over 20 years, I've had a $1,000 offering up. Say that if anybody can show me, and we will put the money in the hands of a mediator. You can even choose the mediator. I said, for 20 years, I've had a $1,000 offering up. And, and I've said, if anybody can show me whether the Sabbath has ever been repealed by, in the Bible, by the people who, are, who wrote the Bible, the apostles, the prophets, Christ Himself said, so "I'll give you this offer, and I'll repent, and I would, hey, I would actually speak against the Sabbath. I would turn away from it. But you people tell me that you can pick a Sabbath, and you wasn't the Creator. You you didn't even choose the rest day. That's what it's all about. It's about rest. And I said, I'll tell you what I'll do to make it special for y'all. I'll pay for the meeting room, and not only that, I will up my offering to two thousand dollars." And I will put it in the hand of a mediator if any of you preachers and so-called teachers up here. And as far as that go, any of you out there in the world can prove in the Bible and all, and all audience out there that the Sabbath day has been repealed and that has been changed. Now, yeah, I mean, Christians, you have to understand, they don't obey the Bible. They do what they want to do. Uh, I'm out of Christ, but in vain do you worship me for the teachings, the doctrines, the commandments of men. And full well you reject the commandment of God that you may keep your own tradition. That's what we're doing. Rabbits laying eggs. And you Jewish people ain't no better. On a, a, during Passover, during what you call the, 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 the Passover Seder, uh, putting a damn egg on the plate. You don't know what that egg is about, fertility rights. See, you ain't no better than you messianic. You ain't no better either. It's just saying. So everybody gets mad at me because, you know, there's a sentiment out there that those scriptures are right. And the reason why I live the way I do because I'm following the pattern of that book. And I know it's right. But then you get these jackleg, sissified dogs and feminine liars out there who continually to fleece you people because you will not study. You will not study. And, and your situation is bad. Um, your whole world is crashing right the economy is on life support right now I looked at the markets gold was outperforming platinum gold was over $1910 the last I looked and silver is on a tear $44.10 the last I saw it and silver is still under value right now I'm just going to calculate off the top of my head right now silver should be at at least $210. And I could be off 10 bucks here or there. I'm pretty close though. That's what it should be. But you know what? They can't stop it because it is going to go there. Huh. Of course, in all you people with your philosophies and your perspectives, oh, I see what you're all about. <laughs> yeah. You know what? The house and those who listen to me, they're going to be prepared. Not only they're going to be prepared, huh? they're going to thank the Father that the, the day that they met a man by the name of Pastor Dow. And that's the truth. And that's the truth. Straight way. Hey, all you Sunday preachers out there. Know it all. Thank you so right. Calling the Sunday the Sabbath. Let's have it out. Huh? Let's get out together. Old fashioned. Open debate. You put up 2,000. I'll put up 2,000. Here. I'll put it up up here. Because these folks. They, 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 they don't even know what a Bible is. But you people out there that claim to be scholars. And still teaching the people lies. And you are afraid of the truth. You're just literally afraid of it. Because you know you're wrong. And you people, that's the reason I keep preaching to you people. Get out from among those liars. If they can't tell you the truth that's written in that book. And much less they can't live it. Then why are you there? There's only one other reason why you're there. Because you love to be lied to. And you love to have it. So, But if you don't, then come out of her. Come out of her is that horse. Christian, Islamic, Sunday, Judaism system.